Hey guys, happy Saturday. the last couple of weeks I've just had such a hard time with food like it's probably one of the toughest times because you know I'll, I'll slip up but then and I'll feel horrible and I say I'll get back on track and I get back on track for one day and then I slip up again another thing I, I've been doing a lot lately is I'll be I'll be so super good and healthy with my breakfast and lunch, have a great workout, and then dinner will come around and I'll make a horrible decision. Um, one, you know, I, I do the one cheat meal a week, but I've been making bad decisions like multiple times a week the last few weeks. Um, there's been chips, chocolate, sushi, pizza and not just like a normal my normal cheat meal amount I've been going crazy I've been having like thousand plus calorie dinners of junk food and I just don't know like I, I I get it like there's so many different stresses the wedding is approaching there's more things to do there's uh, like life everybody has their stresses and I've always turned to food for comfort but on this journey I usually have a better handle on it and I usually rec recover better and quicker and easier and no I'm not that's my little update um, I take like one step forward one step back one step forward one step back and you know I'll lose a pound gain a pound lose a pound gain a pound so the way I'm living life is perfect for maintenance like I've said to you guys before um, not satisfied with that so I don't know I can't even I don't know and today Jim and I are going to the church that we are getting married at and we are going to speak to the priest and you know talk about how the wedding is gonna go and everything Our appointment with the priest went so well. Yeah, Father Ted's awesome. Father Ted, he's he's really young and vibrant. He's a YouTuber. <laughs> like Father Ted is a YouTuber. He does and podcasts. That's so cool. Every single thing we do for the wedding makes it feel like whoa, whoa. Like each thing we do, <laughs> it's like whoa, it's coming. Whoa, it's close. So. Now we're gonna go and have lunch with my grandmother and then we are going to go and look for your suit. <laughs> oh, look at it coming down. We need it though. We need it.
you guys want to make your elliptical workout harder, don't hold on to the arms or the base here because trying to balance yourself will engage more of your muscles in your body and help your heart rate go up and just burn way more calories. Also, put your workout level higher. So I'm at nine today. Sometimes I do 10, sometimes I do 15. Depends on the day. Holy crap. Okay, so it's Sunday, guys, and I just finished my workout. Um, yeah, I just, when I came down to my workout, I hopped onto Snapchat because I was feeling kind of disappointed and stressed that I've been letting just food, like, I've just been giving into food way more, ordering junk food, um, not not really being strong at parties and weddings and stuff, just eating so much. And yes, I've been continuing to work out and drink water and stuff like that, but that's only, that can do only so much. That's only 20% of the journey. Um, food is 80% and my body is definitely feeling the effects. So I hopped onto Snapchat to just express like my gloominess and, and just say like, damn it, I'm so disappointed in myself that I've been giving into food more and just eating more and socks because my wedding's closed, so all these birthday parties and functions. I just feel overwhelmed. I feel like I can't catch my breath. I can't catch up. And I got a lot of support, so thank you. Uh, but I also got a lot of messages saying, stop making excuses. You're just making excuses. And I'm like, I don't know what excuses I'm making because I'm just expressing what's up like I'm just talking to the people who follow my journey on a daily basis and want to know what's up so some days I've eaten healthy and I've worked out and it's the perfect day some days I've just worked out and ate like crap some days I've ate great but didn't work out some days I don't do anything like I'm just sharing the journey good bad ugly and I'm not perfect so I'm not gonna just share one part of the journey and hide the other part i not perfect never will be and i think a lot of us aren't i'm just saying i've been eating junk i've been giving in i haven't had my strength like i usually do and i'm annoyed that i feel like i've gained weight and whatever that's it it's not an excuse i'm just sharing my journey there's ups and downs to the journey and I'm gonna share it all like I have been for the last two years. I'll continue to do that even if I reach a goal weight. The journey is never done. It's never just gonna be, I reached the finish line, I'm done. No, because life is gonna continue and there's gonna be ups and downs for the rest of my life. Especially with the fact that I have a food addiction and a binge eating problem and just an unhealthy relationship with food. Have I gotten better? Oh yeah, like hands down things have gotten better but it's still, it's never just going to be roses and sunshine and I, you know, I can deal with food perfectly and work out every, like it's never going to be like that. So it's a daily struggle and I take it one day at a time and I've had just a, like a, just a lot of bad days compiled. So I was feeling a little bit overwhelmed and just shared it on Snapchat and um, yesterday was good. Uh, today so far is good, but I'm sure at the wedding tonight, It'll be touch and go there. We'll see. We'll see, especially now that I talked about it. It might be on my mind today, and I'll, you know, I'll have my camera out, so that usually helps to keep me on track. Anyways, I better get upstairs. It looks hot. So I'm all ready for the wedding, and I'm just waiting for Jim to be ready so I can chat with you for a few minutes. <sighs> yeah, um, that workout really helped put me in a better frame of mind, and. And I really think that weight loss is all about the you know the food you eat the types of food you eat how much you eat and stuff but working out really it makes your mind right helps to put you in a better mood clears your mind um, just gives you the strength to keep going on the journey so yes what you're eating is what's gonna eventually make you lose or gain or maintain your weight but working out and being in that positive frame of mind is what's going to help you keep going because i know for me like 
I want to, you know, giving up crosses your mind daily, but I force myself to continue on my routines and I keep going. It just, you just keep going. Jim is doing a sexy dance in front of me in his underwear and it's very distracting. <laughs> and I'm going to turn the camera in one second and you'll hate it. We are driving to the wedding now. Instead of table numbers, they have Pokemon. So cute. So match My hair looks my hair got frizzy anyways. Do you still look good? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You look good. I know.